I'm sorry, boy. With me, boy. You busy, Arthur? Evening. Hello. Here, I hadn't forgotten about that storybook you lost. Thanks so much, Uncle Arthur. Do you want to have this? I found it near camp. Sure. Thanks, Jack. Um, um, listen, Abigail, you... You deserve so much more than I can manage. I guess I just don't know much about fathering. Oh, it's real easy. What do I do? Can we get a little privacy here, Arthur? Please? Pretty much the exact opposite of what you have been. <sighs> real funny. Oh, I ain't joking. Just use that tiny brain of yours, and whatever you think is right and proper, do the exact opposite. Then you'll raise a man. <laughs> just like your mama did? But as a real man, like you? <laughs> Arthur, you mind? with an almighty passion. He, he beat the slaves almost nightly. Whip them? Rape them? One night, my father was getting a whooping for the crime of being born by this horrible bastard when his sister-in-law, the, the master's wife, walks in. Now, fearing for my father's life, she told her brother-in-law to stop. Well, not only did he not stop, he beat her too. Next day, his brother, the master, shot him dead. The whole plantation cheered. The master gave my father his dead brother's watch and told him as he did so, time will catch up with us all. A year later, he set them free and hanged himself the very next night. My father gave me that watch. Beautiful, Hello, Molly. big pocket watch it was. And now, oh, I've gone and lost it fleeing Blackwater. When I get some spare money, I'm gonna buy myself another one to honor both my father and them folks that saved his life. Hey. How's it all going? Doing well. Glad to hear it. Sure, Arthur. Mrs. Adler. Hi. Oh, hey, Arthur. I left something for you by your tent. Just to say thanks for the harmonica. Okay. Thank you.
How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather... Would... My days are looking good along, old Dutch. <laughs> Always green, crushing, and bubble bursting. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. <laughs> 